welcome back to the feminine upgrade if you're new here don't forget to hit that like button comment and subscribe in today's video we will be talking about the poly couple on tiktok so without further ado let's jump straight into the video so on tiktok there is this poly relationship with three individuals named sean Shanice, and olivia they would all go live and have people come on and answer their questions or the guy sean would yell at them and kick them off so they got very popular for one being a poly relationship and for two the dynamic of the relationship and for sean being a narcissist it was more of a train wreck to watch and there were a lot of people's assumptions about them from the penthouse being in shanice's name to them sharing it with the other creators and having a time slot olivia being pregnant People questioned Olivia's age, so as time went on, people found so many receipts on them, and Sean and Olivia's family members started going live, dropping a little bit of tea here and there, but not really in an exposing way. Like, they didn't really expose anything too, uh, too much. So recently, Shanice left the relationship, and now it's a new wave of drama, and she is sharing her story here on YouTube. Her name is Shanice Roche. You guys should go follow her and check out the videos she has out and i believe her because he has the traits of a narcissist and they are very abusive and manipulative they put on a face of a good person and build an audience of those who see them as good but behind closed doors they are absolutely crazy so i want to know how many of you have been keeping up with them and do you think sean and shanice don't talk and do you believe shanice's story and what do you think will happen after he finds a new girl my prediction is that olivia will become like how shanice was in the relationship it's a sad cycle and it's also a teachable moment for us women and to recognize these signs before it's too late or before you get too involved because trying to leave a narcissistic relationship is very very hard so it's good to be able to see how they function and move i'm loving how shanice didn't just leave the relationship but how she uh, seeked out healing and is now loving life accepting opportunities that she wouldn't have been able to if she was still in that relationship I also think that Sean over exaggerates how much money he has and makes because he wants to speak it into existence. However, I do feel like he has a good bit of money. I mean, TikTok gifts alone is a good bit of money that they make. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and let's have a discussion. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.